So today we're going to be learning about matrices. And a matrix is the singular form of matrices. It just means one matrix. But if you're talking about matrices, you're probably talking about two or more, since it's plural. Now a matrix is simply going to be a rectangular array, a rectangular array of elements. A rectangular array of elements. Now what this means is you're going to have a box, it's going to have brackets, sometimes it has parentheses, but this one is going to have brackets, and this matrix is going to have two rows and two columns. The first row is going to be 7, 8, 9, and the second row is going to be 1, 2, 3. So given this matrix, we know that it has two rows, two rows, but we also know that it has three columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my color to red and I'm going to circle all the rows. I'm going to circle all the rows. So this is going to be the first row, this seven, eight, and nine. And then the second row is going to be one, two, three. So rows are always going to go from left to right. They're always going to go from left to right. So they are horizontal in a sense. Now I'm going to change my color to blue and I'm going to circle all the columns. So this is going to be the first column, 7, 1. This is going to be the second column, 8, 2. And this is going to be the third column, 9, 3. So columns are always going to go from up to down. So these are going to be vertical. Okay? Now, that's the difference between rows and columns. And what we do is we can specify a dimension. So a dimension, let me put my color back in white, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be defining the dimension of a matrix. Dimension. All right, now this is going to be two numbers. You're going to have a row number times a column number. And R just means how many rows you have. R is going to be the number of rows. And C is going to be the number of columns. So here, our matrix has two rows, so R is going to be two. And then since it has three columns, the C number is going to be a three. So this is a two by three matrix, we say. It has two rows and three columns. And then the last thing we can do is we can specify the entry that we're looking at. So let's say I wanted to specify this number eight right here. Well, what I would have to do is, first I would have to give this matrix a name. Let's say it's matrix M, and that's a capital M, by the way. What we would do is, we would write a lowercase m, standing for an entry of matrix M, and then we would have to specify the row number and the column number. So, this 8 is in the first row, so the row number is going to be 1. But, it's also in the second column, right? So the column number is going to be 2. So M12 is going to be equal to 8. So if you know the row number and you know the column number, you can specify any element in this matrix. And the elements are just going to be the numbers inside the matrix. So that's matrix basics, and I hope that helps. Mm -hmm.